know what? It is Thursday, in case you didn't know, and it is time to check out our besties from mornings on 95.7 The Jet. Yeah, we're joined by Jody and Bender. Besties. How you doing, guys? Hey, besties. Hey, besties. Hey, besties. <laughs> we were all talking about our dogs before the show started. Jody and I love a small dog, and Maria and Bender are big dog people. We are. Who knew? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, we're we splitting actually, up into teams. So the little dogs for you guys, mm -hmm. and Marae and I both have Great Dane mixes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. German Shepherd for her and a Mastiff for me. God Massive didn't think Mastiff. the Dane was big enough <laughs> to win some English Mastiff. Yes, like enjoy sitting with your big yeah. dogs on the couch. <laughs> you need That's a couch correct. for yeah. the dog, yeah. <laughs> you guys, are you guys good? How's We're everybody good. doing? Doing great, yeah. Absolutely. Good. Staying alive this Thursday morning. Talk to us about Michael Jordan's birthday. I hear he celebrated in a huge way. Well, it's tomorrow. He turns 60 tomorrow, and to celebrate, he is giving the most massive donation to the Make-A-Wish Foundation that they've ever had from a single donor, $10 million. Oh. What a way to celebrate by... I mean, what a massive, massive donation that is to make wish. And I guess he's he's worked with them for many, many years, but this is just like the icing on the cake. He really is the goat. No Absolutely, kidding. That's yeah. incredible. It must just feel so good to, to have that much money and be able to help people so much with that. That's awesome. Absolutely. All right. Well, we have yeah, been talking. Speaking of him having yeah. money. What what's about, about him Speaking of him money? having money, I know how he... I know how he got all that money. Bender, what kind of special Jordan sneakers do you wear for the man's 60th birthday? Well, well tomorrow I will wear he has a birthday shoe. Oh, a special birthday the shoe. The Jordan of course. 22s. Of course. They're, they're basketball leather. I'll wear those tomorrow. But right, right. now. He's I, taking his shoe I've off. Got the, I've got the, <laughs> the Jordan 32 lows. They're the win like 82s. Wonderful. So there I you like, go. Thank this you is very like much. the second day in a row we've gotten to uh, Bender shoe, to take off his shoe. shoe I'm just glad I'm not in there to smell it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> if, hey. you, if you bring it up, Boy if you bring it up, there, you know. It's right. pure class. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look at you making this seg from a couple of days ago. Uh, Nicely done. Uh, I feel we like will we know each other a little bit better now, you know? Uh, <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. Uh, so uh, uh, leading up to the Super Bowl performance, Rihanna down in Arizona. I don't know if you saw the place that oh. she was renting out. I, I guess uh, when you're a billionaire, you have a special certain Airbnb page you can go to that this wouldn't necessarily be available oh to the regular public. What a house. $85,000 oh a night. <gasps> oh, my god! And gosh. she was there for six nights. Yeah, man. Look at this. Massive. Is that not the, like, oh, my God. Yeah, five bedrooms, five baths, 6,400 square feet. Two living rooms. It has a giant wine cellar, open kitchen. It's got a gym. Do you work out when you're on vacation? Sometimes, depending on the Absolutely vacation. Absolutely not. Okay. I do. Like if it's a... Yeah. <laughs> I never do. I'll they've walk got the around, pool. They've got no. the built-in waterfalls. Yeah, no, I get it. But yeah, so I mean, if you've got $85,000 a night, you find yourself down in Arizona, it's about a half hour away from Paradise Valley, which is already very upscale. Yeah. But you yeah. got to go a half hour further from there to go a half a million dollars for six it's nights. A nice spot. How about that? <laughs> a very nice spot. Beautiful. Um, all right. Well, it, Rihanna is all well and good, but I want to know what you found out about how couples are texting each other. Yeah, this fun new study out of uh, out of England. So they said that the longer couples are together, the longer it takes them to text back. For example, <laughs> when you first start dating someone, you take about 15, 16 minutes to get back to that person. That was the average. But after a couple of years, it turns to <laughs> twice that long, about oh. 25 minutes. And then after 20 years <laughs> together, you sometimes don't answer texts at all. <laughs> I guess I guess it's just the brain meld takes over at that point, right? I would say that's true. I don't know who's who. I would say that's true. I mean, I sometimes because you're like, it'll be fine. They love me. This has been established. I don't need to like keep. I don't know. Yeah. I don't have to text them back in like a minute. You I don't like, know. They'll I, still be here half a day later. I think. I totally disagree with that. I've been with my <laughs> husband for almost 20 years, and I still need that text back ASAP, my man. <laughs> 
immediately. Okay. <laughs> Did Carly really come back with, yes. hey, I've already locked it down. He doesn't need to hear from me oh, right now? I believe so. <laughs> I just think, like, there's an understanding. I believe so. We're, I'm busy. He's busy. Wow. It's fine. Nice. That's, that's what we're together. There's we're an understanding. present together. But texting, I'm like, eh, we'll figure it out. <laughs> um, see I you when you I see you. There's an understanding. Leave me alone. Let's change the subject. <laughs> um, I hear you've got some stats about random things that the average American does in a year. Fill us in on that. Okay. So uh, we haven't shared this with you, and I haven't shared this with Jody, so you're just going to have to go. This is basically an over-under kind of thing. Okay. The average American eats 46 slices of pizza a year. <laughs> oh, that's like low for me. Almost. That's low. I feel like it sh it's higher. That yeah, feels that, low. That's, that's low. Yeah, I'm probably it's got to be higher, right? 20 something slices uh, a year. Just 20 slices? That's it? That's it? Oh, I don't know. I mean, <clears throat> when I lived in New York, probably double that. But <laughs> sure, sure. I don't sure. know. Yeah. Oh, but New York style pizza, yeah. come on. Yeah. Uh, how about the average American reads just over 12 books a year? Oh. I I mean, would who say has I, time for that? That's, that's I'm about that. I try to do that, yeah. I would say like 10 to 15. That's yeah, high. That's, yeah. yeah. Does that feel high? Okay, are you... Are you are you That's saying high. that because you want to appear like a scholar? <laughs> I just need people to know I am indeed a scholar. <laughs> we are very smart here. There you go. Yes. No, I, re I like reading. That's right. Oh, Smarter yeah. than us. <laughs> did, did, did you notice, though, TV yeah. people, the TV people are like, yes. of course, I oh, have a whole library. That feels library very home. low for me. I have 20 <laughs> books on my nightstand right now, and I read them all at the same time. <laughs> Radio people are like, we don't do anything. We forget it. We watch Bravo and go to bed. Uh, 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 the too. average American... <laughs> The average American spends just under an hour driving every day. That's low. That is super low. That sounds about right for me. That's right for me. Nice. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I have a short commute. I like hacked it so that uh, I would have a The average American. Commute. Yeah, girl. The average American spends about four hundred and forty dollars a month on groceries. Definitely. I spend more than that. I, I think guess, that's a, like low-ish, about right, though. That's one trip to that's Whole Foods. Low, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I guess. Depends on family size. Yeah, that's size. on eggs alone these days. Right? <laughs> yeah. And yeah, exactly. It depends on family size. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the average American uses the restroom seven times a day. Too high or too low? Too low. <laughs> what? Like, what are they doing in there? You got to go <laughs> once an hour at least. <laughs> Using it. <laughs> Using it. Yeah. Now, I, don't I don't want to think about now, that one. I don't know. Maria. I don't know. Jody and okay, Bender, wait, wait, thank wait, you so much second, for joining wait. us. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. We love you. Bye. We love you all. We're going to end it on that note. We'll see you on Tuesday. Okay, coming up next on Studio 13 Live.